Hey, this is Lilith Evernight, and um, just watch me vlog. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I'm just slightly stoned. So, oh, I have this wrap around my leg, and yeah, so that's why you might see this weird thing on my leg. It's because I cut my leg while I was taking out the trash and some glass broke. So anyway, long story. Anyway, um, I really did not want to record in this way, but why not, you know? Um, I feel like I'm trying to squeeze inside of a box, so... Anyway, let's try this one more time. I was channeling in Tupac, and I already was shuffling some cards. And the first card that came out, because I already have been channeling him in, or his energy in, as much as I best can, um, can the best way. Sorry, uh, my tone of voice is awkward as usual. And focus. Um, so yeah. This is the card that came out for him. This is the card that represents him as a person. So it's pretty much like the signifier. The card that represents the person that passed on and I had to do it again. Because tarot can be pretty harsh and teach me a lesson as well. Um, I pulled out another card. Um, and I think this card came out for myself earlier. It's telling me you should be focusing and studying a little bit more on your craft so um anyway so i'm really trying to focus right now and give you guys what i said i was here to give you on this video so anyway this is the three of wands oh my god come on Sorry, it's not my dog. I love my puppies. <laughs> I do. I really do. It's just... I swear, like, I've been recording this video twice. And it's always like a distraction. <laughs> but she's my baby. This is the yeah, yeah. Should I do, um... Should I do videos with my pets and put them a part of the journey so anyway three of wands is a man right here that uh seems like he has a sight on sights on the world and fire represents passion it represents courage it represents confidence creativity um strength it's a fiery energy. If you touch fire, it will burn you. It is hot and it is aggressive. It's an aggressive element. Come on, babies. Don't do this. Universe, please. I'm trying to... <laughs> so I love my babies, but they do this every tarot reading. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Three of Wands. So this is a man who has his sights on the world. And he's just... He's just... Seems like, if you really look at this man, he looks like he knows what he's looking at. And he knows what he's standing for. And he knows why he has this attire on. Because it represents the man that he is and his dignity in those wands that he's holding. So therefore, there's something here that made him strong and something that he was standing for. Um, it looked like he knew where he was going. Like, I don't know if he was a traveling type, but maybe in his mind, maybe in his spirit, he just always liked to travel into many different things not just physical travel but like intellectual philosophical um just learning new things like 
you know, just trying to educate himself in the things that he learned about maybe different parts of life. And I think he was the type of person that, um, he was probably always on the road. Maybe he, you know, was the type of person who would always go on shows and stuff like that. But for real, like, maybe that's just the kind of man he was. It was like some sort of traveling man. This could also represent the fact that some people believe that he he didn't die and that he went to a different country or something like that. So that is probably what could represent, represent this person. Like, I think of this person like Machiavelli in this card, you know, and... He's just like having his sights on different parts of the world. And he was also an inspiration. This card also represents inspiration. Enthusiastic. And even though he was like this thug type. Whatever you want to call stereotypes. I mean, to not sound political, not trying to be politically correct here. But let me let my dogs out for a second. So, yeah. Distractions, I swear. Every time I decide to make a YouTube video, this, this shit happens. <laughs> I love my doggies. But I'm like, what is the fascination? They must feel the energy when I'm playing the cards or something. Who knows? So, sorry, let me go a little faster this time. So, he was clearly an inspiration. He was confident. He was enthusiastic. He was creative. Um, philosophical. And then I see the seas and I see a boat, you know, and he's looking overseas. So, um, you know, water represents emotion. It represents sensitivity, relationships. And then there's the rocks, which is something solid. So I think he wanted to be near something that was solid. He wanted to be somewhere where he knew he was solid. He knew the people around him and the places around him were solid. But at some times he would look maybe ahead of himself and see ahead that like, You know, like, he didn't want to always deal with emotion, probably, or deal with having to not stand in his own two feet. So, I'm going to pull out a few other ones. Um, looking back... Okay, I channel in Tupac. Look back on your life. How do you see it? Okay, so looking back on your life, how do you how do you see it? As I channel in Tupac's spirit respectfully. Looking back at your life, how do you see it? He looked back on his life and there was happiness. There was thrill. There was excitement. There was happiness, of course, like I said. Um, needing to take a leap, a giant leap forward. So his life was like, I think, very fast paced, very adventurous. So I was getting with him is that I think he's a Gemini. So he was the type of person to probably always take a leap of faith when it came to his dreams. And at the same time, I think he was a risk taker. His, his life was like taking a risk. It was like every thing was a surprise probably in his life, but 
he lived for the thrill of his life. And even though he was like off that, jumping off that cliff, not really jumping off the cliff, but it's like he knew, he knew the things that he was doing in his life. He was risking some part of his life. Um, and I think there was someone or something with him that was always trying to be like, you know, hey, you know, just, you know, watch it, you know. He, I think, probably didn't really expect him to go out like that or just to go out at all. Um, he was just in the moment of his life and he was enjoying the good parts of his life, definitely. And he was, in, he was just... I think he was happy. He was in love. I don't know. Maybe he was in love. He was just, maybe not necessarily romance, but like more like in the love of life. He was just enjoying the love of life. But at the same time, I think he, you know, because you know how you have the, the thug nature. It's like, you know how gangsters, thugs, they kind of have that. Yeah, what's it called? Like, die young, live fast kind of mentality. So, he probably had that kind of mentality. He probably didn't think, like, he wanted to die. But, you know, like, in a metaphorical stance. Um, he meant it like, it's almost... You might as well just do what you do now. Before it's too late, you know? You might as well do what makes you happy... Even if it's scary. And I think that is what he sees in his life. Um, I think maybe he wishes that he would have paid attention a little bit more to the risks that he was taking while he was alive. And the places and the people and the situations that he had surrounded himself in. That that person or whatever situation in the universe that was guiding him and telling him to turn around and to not jump. That night, maybe, probably that day that when he got taken out, he wishes maybe that he could look back on that and just turn around. But at the same time, he was very happy. He, I think, feels very good and in bliss like he knowing that he had his accomplishments that's all that really mattered in the end you know even though he got taken out not the way he wanted not like he wanted to but he did all the things that made him happy that made him Tupac that made him this this legend to maybe some people or just to himself or Whatever it may be, you know, being a poet, a writer, a rapper, or, you know, a musician. He, I think, would never take that back. He doesn't regret being the person that he knew he wanted to be on this planet. Even if that meant that he had to fight for the truth. And, you know, maybe he was the type of person that spoke too much. Maybe, you know, I'm just getting this vibe that he was targeted or something like that. You know, if you listen to his songs, they're kind of like, wow, <laughs> he was going through some sort of battle here. But even though he was, even though he had, may have had enemies, he doesn't, he wouldn't take it back. Everything that made him happy, everything that he accomplished, all his dreams, he wouldn't take those back. That's that kind of energy with that. So something you wish you had. No, I'm not. 
Something that you wish you had paid more attention to. Wow, okay. This one came out. The Strength card. So, I don't know. This is a woman here. Maybe his mother? Maybe a woman in his life that was trying to tame him. and Or maybe this could be a love interest. I don't know if there was a woman in his life that was a love interest. But I think this woman was probably the type of woman to calm down him. Even when people were probably scared of him. They were looking at him like a wild beast when he was angry. But... There was probably, you know, or whatever it may be, you know, him just being Tupac, you know, him just being that guy that people just knew not to fuck with or, you know, or the majority, you know what I mean? Like as a man, like not just, okay, it's easy to fuck with somebody when you have a weapon, but I mean, like if it's just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you just don't go up to a grown man and just, you know, provoke him. So maybe this person was able to um, give him that strength. And he wishes that. Um, that maybe he wasn't always in his ego. And maybe that, you know, that there were times where he probably needed to humble his aggression. Um, but with whoever this woman is, I think there's a special woman in his life that maybe he was at, you know, at times a little too aggressive, a little too egotistical, a little too, you know, every guy has an ego, like every girl does, but I notice guys, you know, or, you know, they tend to, their egos tend to stand out a little bit more. Say what I mean by that is like, like a guy just wants to be a macho man. And maybe that is what, you know, he, he realized that he didn't always need to always be that macho man, macho fucking tough guy all the time to prove a point in life that he could still be strong in be confident and have an inner in all of that by using his inner calmness. This card appears when you know you have a store of inner strength. That you work from positive position. So maybe he wishes that he probably pour, put more of a positive position in love. Um, versus always just being aggressive and, you know, focusing on listening to that special person in his life. I don't know who that is, but, uh, maybe he, sh he wishes that he could have listened to that person more instead of being the stubborn guy that he made, probably was, maybe not focusing on the material things all the time either. Even though he was a deep poetic person, he still had a dark side, you know? He still had his secrets and all that that made him a guy. You know, he still had his side where he still like clothes nice things and women. Um, so, let's see. A message to give the fans. Um, let's see. Is there a message to give the fans? Happy home. Possible country setting. So there's like a... This is a castle, but it looks like a... An entrance way. 
And it looks like two happy people. It's just like, just bask in the joy of light and just be in love and light and, you know, just come together and just be at peace with one another as, sorry, my feet, you know, just bring more love and serenity into this world as, you know, just fans, you know, um, fans shouldn't be fighting over another fan about this or that on whatever theory you heard or, um, just people, you know, like violence does violence isn't going to be the key here. Um, you know, focus on stability and success and moving on to the next page. You know, those are what is going to what what is most important here. Um yeah, so focusing on our success, stability and just having our feet on the ground. These damn like I swear the energies here. So yeah, um, that was it for Tupac, I believe. And um, I just wanted to just say thank you for watching. And um, I will be doing some other videos. And this is just somebody who just thought he was an interesting man as a person, even though I look like I don't listen to that kind of music. I really don't, but I really am the type of person that likes to do readings on people that brought a message here into the world. And not always about my ego and who I think is cool enough to do a reading on. I don't just do celebrity, I don't do celebrity readings like for entertainment, you know, for the fact, oh, it's like watching the E! channel, it's, or gossiping, and if I do, it's, you know, depending on how I'm feeling about it, depending on the situation, but, um, I just wanted to do Tupac because I felt that, you know, all his songs, people who, you know, go through spiritual battle in this silent war, um, may know what I am talking about, the truth there is, or whatever, and some people would have considered Tupac to, to be a truth there, and, uh, some people believe that he's not even dead, you know, this is like, free yourself, I don't know, so that might resonate with somebody, maybe that's the energy at play, um, liberation you know he stood a message maybe for us to be sovereign beings and um to free ourselves uh, to free ourselves from the shackles of some corruption that he was aware of in the shadows so yeah that is why i do certain readings on people um, I have other readings and, uh, of other, you know, people that hold their interest in my universe that I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm still a little stoned. So I swear, as soon as I started a video, like the energies were kicking off. Sorry about my dogs or me looking like I'm yelling at my dogs. It's just that shit happens all the time. So, it's like, what the heck? Anyway, I still love my fur babies, though. Um, yeah, but please subscribe, like, share, and comment.